good morning and good afternoon my future chef friends welcome to October's episode of fresh for kids and because it's October we are going to be making something that is very fun very delicious and definitely in season we are going to be making caramel apples this is a really really fun thing especially for little hands to be able to make because you can use your microwave for melting the caramels down and you don't even have to turn on the stove and we don't have to use any sharp knives to cut anything which is very handy so what we will need to get started you are going to need about eight to ten apples i just bought a bag um, from publix of macintosh apples but you can use whatever kind of apples you prefer. There are a lot to choose from. I don't know if you know this, but in the United States alone, there are over 2,500 different varieties of apples. And they come from just slightly larger than a cherry to I think the largest was three pounds and two ounces, which is a pretty huge apple. Ours are more regular size, even maybe a little on the smaller side because caramel apples, when they are too big, they can be very difficult to bite into. So what we're gonna need to get started, other than our apples, of course, um, you're gonna need two 11 ounce bags of caramels. There are a lot of different kinds of caramels. Um, I just went with the Kraft, the Werther's are very good. However, they're about three times the price. Um, so we went caramel on a budget today. And you're gonna need a little bit of heavy whipping cream. And you're not gonna use very much, so the rest of it you could use to make whipped cream afterwards, right? And we'll need a pinch of salt. Of course, for our hardware, we are gonna need some skewers for those apples. And I have some that are fairly sturdy because um, you want them to hold on very well. If you use the thinner ones, like for putting on the grill for shish kebab kind, sometimes they're very thin and might not hold up to the weight of an apple with caramel on it. We are going to need a glass container to put into our microwave to melt down those caramels. And we're gonna need some measuring spoons for our whipping cream. And we're of course also gonna need something to put these apples on once they are covered in the caramel. So you'll need a cookie sheet, and some parchment paper on top that makes cleanup so much easier. In addition to that, we're definitely gonna need a rubber scraper also for when we put our caramels into the microwave. A couple of things before you get started. One thing you wanna make sure is that when using store-bought apples, they are heavily waxed before they are delivered to a store. So you wanna make sure you wash them in hot water to get all of that wax off and then dry them very, very well with a cloth. Um, towel or paper, a very heavy duty paper towel. You want to make sure you get all that wax off because if not, it's very difficult for the caramel to stick to it. Another thing that is very handy when making caramel apples is to make sure that your apples are very cold. So um, if you have just purchased them, you want to probably stick them in the freezer for a little while so that they get cold. It just makes the caramel um, gel up and harden a little bit quicker so that you don't get so much pulled on the bottom of your parchment paper and then you know that part of the caramel doesn't get eaten it gets wasted and we cannot you know waste any caramel around ha Halloween time right we gotta hang on to all those sweets so gather all of your things and then we will get started on the very first step which is melting down our caramels we'll be back in just a moment okay we are back the most labor-intensive toughest part of this entire recipe is unwrapping all of those caramels. So I turned on some music really loud and just danced while I did it. But if you are making this recipe with maybe a sibling or with one of your grown-ups um, or a friend, then maybe you could have a contest to see who can unwrap the most caramels in a specific time. And that will make the process a lot more fun while you do it. Um, but before we get started on this, I wanna make sure we skewer our apples because once this is melted, the process is gonna go very quickly and you don't you want your apples to be completely prepared for this part of it. So we've got everything we need. Um, we're gonna microwave this in just a minute, but first we're gonna take our apples. My apples are very cold. And you're gonna take your skewer and just put it right down. But you don't wanna go all the way through, just enough 
that it's on there very, very sturdy. And then we'll just put it right here on our parchment paper. So you're just gonna, you know, repeat this process for all of your apples. Um, one thing to note with your apples, um, you wanna make sure, in addition to cleaning all that wax off of them, you wanna make sure you get all your stems out and that makes this process a little bit easier. There we go. And when you're covering your apples with the caramel, you do wanna leave the top part of it um, uncovered by the caramel. That way, if you're using different kinds of apples, maybe using some green Granny Smith apples and some Red Delicious, um, that way if people have a preference on what kind of apple they like, they can choose for themselves. Another thing that we've got at the end um, of this recipe, you can coat these with different things. Um, coconut, um, today I've got some sprinkles, I've got some chocolate chips, um, but really the possibilities are kind of endless. You can crush up your favorite kind of candy bar um, or other kind of candy and put on top um, different kinds of nuts you could put on top. You could melt down some white chocolate and drizzle it and make them very pretty. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you can do. And speaking of the end of this video, maybe you noticed my shirt and it says, oops, did I spill the tea? I wanna make sure you hang around for this entire video because I have some tea to spill at the end of this video. I have some really, really exciting news that I think you're gonna be very excited about, but not till the end. All right, our apples are on our parchment paper. They are absolutely ready to be covered in caramel. So we've got our two bags of unwrapped, that's very important, caramels. Um, and as I mentioned, we're gonna need a good rubber scraper. Um, so we want a pinch of salt, so just a tiny little bit. Just keeps it from being too sweet and it also helps break up um, the sugar and the fat because um, heavy whipping cream definitely has a lot of fat in it. So we want, let's see, four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, so. Four tablespoons, that's our biggest spoon on our bunch. So, one, two, three, and four. There we go. All right, so we are going to put this in our microwave and we are gonna check it every 30 seconds. If you don't do that, it can definitely scorch and just become a big mess. And we've already unwrapped all the caramels that we have, so we can't waste these, right? So I'm gonna pop these in the microwave. I'm going to be checking and stirring it every 30 seconds to make sure it's the perfect consistency. And when I've got it just right, I'll be back to show you what it looks like. We are back and this caramel smells so good. So it took me um, three minutes to get it to this consistency. You'll probably not notice much change after that first 30 seconds, um, but it is important to get in there and stir things around each 30 second interval. Um, but you wanna make sure that all of the big um, pieces of caramel are completely melted down and it's a little bit liquidy. Of course, it's still gonna be a little thick um, you can also do this on what's called a double boiler, which is basically putting a pot of water on your stove and then putting a metal a mixing dish or a glass, you can use a glass bowl, on the top so that the heat from the steam is what's melting your caramel instead of being directly on the heat, which can scorch it. However, that dirties a couple more dishes and this is so much easier because you don't have to deal with um, being on the stove top. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our apples and kind of go sideways to get them coated. And like I said, you wanna leave a little bit at the top just so you can see what kind of apple it is. And then we're gonna just let it drip off all of the excess caramel. Right, and then we are immediately going to roll it in our toppings. Like I said, I did sprinkles. And I've got some chocolate chips. Just enough to make it kind of pretty, but not overwhelming. Because we're putting sweet on sweet, right? So we don't want too much. And then just put it 
right there on your parchment paper. And then we will repeat the process with all of our apples. And you know, as you get towards the end, depending on how many apples you've got, if you notice that you're getting a lot of air bubbles or the caramel is getting too stiff for you to be able to work with, just pop it back into the microwave for 15 seconds and give it a stir and it'll be right back to that perfect consistency. Okay. Yeah, apples are definitely part of a lot of stories, as I'm sure if you've read fairy tales. Um, there's always an apple involved, right? So there's a lot of really cool fun facts about apples and how they were, you know, used previously in the past. Um, I'm sure if you watched my fun facts video about all the different um, holidays that happen in fall, um, one of the most popular things at a lot of parties this time of year are bobbing for apples. And um, the reason why they they float so well because they are 25% air inside there. So they've got a lot more um, oxygen inside. They're not as dense. So that's why they float to the top of barrels. And in bobbing for apples, in old Roman traditions, when you bobbed for apples, the first person to get an apple was supposed to be the next person to be married. Kind of like throwing a bouquet at weddings here, right? Okay, and of course you don't have to put toppings on these. Maybe you just like a plain caramel apple and that is totally fine because there's a lot of deliciousness just to be had in those two things without adding anything extra to it. So I'm making these for my coworkers. So I'll leave a couple plain as well. And then, of course, once we have dipped these, I'm gonna put them into the refrigerator and you want them to chill for at least at least 15 minutes um, before serving. However, the longer you're able to keep them refrigerated, the harder that caramel will set. And, of course, you know, eating a caramel apple can be a tricky thing, right? Um, so you can do what a lot of people do, and that is just cut them into slices so that it's a little bit easier. But um, once you cut that apple open, of course, you're going to get some browning on the skin of the apple, which is why I like to do them whole first and then let people decide whether they want to cut it or not. All right, let's do another one with chocolate chips. And if you guys make these, I would absolutely love, love, love to see the pictures of yours and see what kind of cool things you topped yours with. It's kind of fun to watch. A little bit hypnotizing. All right, let's get some more chocolate chips. Whoop, I got a chocolate chip in the caramel. Last one, we'll leave this one plain too. Although I think a little bit of that chocolate chip got on this one. All right, there you go. It really is just that simple. And um, one other thing I will note, um, I definitely put my toppings into disposable containers. That way you are not trying to clean stuck on caramel from a uh, glass plate or dish. And they look really pretty and festive, and I really hope that all my coworkers love these delicious little treats that I have created for them. Um, it's definitely fun for a Halloween party, um, really any time at this time of year, because like I said, apples are in season, so next time you go to the market, just take note of how many different kinds of apples they have. Some have different consistencies um, in the texture, what they feel like in your mouth. Um, some are sweeter. Uh, they are all used for different things. Some apples are better for baking and some are better for just eating and snacking on. So you choose your favorite kind of apple to make your caramel apples. And I did promise you some big news, did I not? Yes, I did. So the big news is this. 
This is the very, very last Fresh for Kids video. But wait, don't be sad. The reason why it's the last video is because starting next month in November, we will be doing Fresh for Kids live and in person right here in this room. So there's gonna be a few different rules. Um, if you've come to Fresh for Kids before in the past, before we had to stop doing things in person, um, it will be a little bit different this time. Um, there will be limits on how many kids can attend the class, so you will have to register for that. So just look for details on our social media pages and on our website in the very near future. But we are gonna be making some really fun dip recipes to take to all of your other holiday gatherings in November. I am very, very excited to see all your faces and talk about cooking and cooking techniques and all the fun things that we can do in the kitchen right here in person in this very room. Yay. So have a wonderful Halloween. Um, definitely share your candy with your siblings and your parents or your grownups or whoever. And uh, we can't wait to see you here in person next time at the Meatland Public Library. Bye.